everybody in today's video i'm going to be showing you apps everyone should install so first game or app that we have here is elevate and this is like a brain training game it gives you three games every day focusing on three different areas that will either be maths writing speaking or reading and i've definitely seen an improvement in my own skills i guess the like aim of the game is to do little every single day just like three games every day and that will in the long term affect your improvement and enhancement in like those skill sets i've seen an improvement in my grammar skills my everyday language and my overall vocabulary that i use i've also seen an improvement in my mental maths calculations because there's loads of helpful math games there is also a reading game which allowed me to improve my reading speed by a lot because it gave you loads of quick words and you just had to describe the story at the end of the game. Here are just some clips of me doing the three games that I got that day and overall I think this is a good app. So next we have Emphasis and this is kind of a new app but it's really good. So it's like a minimalistic app that allows you to personalize um, your like focus tracker. I've seen loads of focus trackers online, but I've never seen an app that has this much customization. You can change the color or like the theme. You can change your work study session. You can change your break time, your long break time. And overall, I think this is amazing because sometimes I want to do 25 minutes work. Sometimes I want to do 50 minutes of work. So this is really customizable if you look at it at that perspective can also follow your like your pomodoro method or you can change it which is also why i like it you can also set like alarms or something like that but i haven't discovered that part of the app yet i overall think this is a very aesthetic app to use when you are studying because i have definitely seen that i can focus and concentrate on my work better without touching my phone even if i get notifications using this app and is similar to forest but i wouldn't say it is very similar next we have an app called minimalist and it's very aesthetic and i use this to make my everyday to-do list if i don't have like a post-it note or like a notebook to make my to-do list in this is definitely helpful for when I'm in a place where I don't have my usual to-do list notebook and I can just quickly write my tasks down here. I also think the controls are very easy to use because all you have to do is pull up to add a task, you swipe right to delete and you swipe left as if you are ticking off the task to complete it. And there is also a focus mode that I didn't show in this clip sadly, but basically if you tap on it, you can focus on that task, which is insane because it's like an all-in-one app, basically what focus mode is. So when you tap on your task, it will take you to this like timer setting and you can start the timer to completely focus and concentrate on that task. Next up, we have this brilliant app called Brilliant and it's just an amazing app because it's like a puzzle game and it gives you a word problem and you have to solve the word problem depending on your logical and problem solving skills. I have spent so long on this clip that this clip is probably like the largest out of all of the other clips. In fact, I sped it up because of how long I took on the app because I literally could not get enough of it. And trust me when I say this, some problem solving kind of questions have come up on a math paper for me before. So I feel like word problems, since they are my like weakest spot, I can improve my word problem and like my problem solving skills by using this app. It's kind of like a TED Ed video type concept. Finally, we have Emo and this is such a cute app. It's kind of like a mood tracker and a journal and it's just amazing. I only have one downside to it is that some words appear in Chinese and um, it's kind of confusing sometimes as to what the app is saying but most of the time I think it's just an amazing app because it helps you keep track of what days you were like down and what days you were feeling amazing in the entire month. I've used this since like Christmas and you can do 
whatever you want with this app you can write down what like emotion you had and like what you did that day to cause that emotion also like change the color of the text to make it colorful which is really cute and you can also add like washi tape stickers which will make it um realistic and give it that journal look so yeah as you can see here's me placing that sticker you can also add like pictures and other stuff but i haven't explored the app enough to give you guys that recommendation but for now i feel like this deserves to be in this list because it's just amazing also i think it's a quick way to journal when you don't have enough time thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of quick video and i'll see you guys later Thank you.